For today's lesson, you will be needing three things. You will be needing your ruler, graph paper, and colored pencils. Although you will not be use, although you will be using colored pencils today, I want you to keep them on your desk and out of your hands while I'm talking. And also, while you're you will have your rulers, I do not want you to play with them. This is the part where you watch me show you, show you how to graph, and you just stay put, and I'll teach. So the first lesson, or the first thing we will be doing today is learning about bar graphs. In the past, we have learned about pictographs. Now, Barbara, from the word pictograph, what are those? From the word pictograph. Michaela, what, what are pictographs? If we look at the picto. Picture. 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 Pictures. We are using pictures to show what stuff we have in our data table. So if we are learning about bar graphs, what are what would we be using to graph? Yes. Bars. Yeah, so bar graphs, we will be using bars to show how much we have in each data set. So our first problem is going to be favorite pets. And we will be having eight dogs, six cats, five hamsters, and two rabbits. So, our first step to making our bar graph is writing our title on the board. So, our first title would be Favorite Pets. So, we will write that at the very top. Favorite pets. Our second step would be to make our axes. We have two axes, which would be, we make an L. Our first one is called our X axis, and it runs from side to side. Our second one is our Y axis, and it goes from up and down. Our, second, our third step is to be, is to write the titles of our axes. So, since we have our different kinds of pets, the x-axis would be titled Types of Pets. And since we have favorite pets, we need people who like those pets, right? Next, we're going to write people for our y-axis. Now we have our titles. For everything, we have the title for our entire graph, and we have the titles for our axes. Now we get to the part where we actually make the bars. To help us make our bars, we're going to be using a scale, which is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we have little bars, or little tick marks, that helps us know where each of them are going to go. And we're going to have extended lines across the x-axis, so that way it makes our bars a little bit more precise. That way we don't have a little leeway in between each one. So we're going to make extended lines for each one. And then upwards. So our first one are going to be eight dogs. So in order to make our bar, we need to make two lines starting from the x-axis. And we need to count to eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Then we make our two bars. Then we color it in and write dogs underneath it. So if we are going to use the bar graph to show how many we have, we have eight dogs. For our next bar, we need to make six for cats. So we count up to six for cats. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Go directly over. And make two bars. Color it in. The next one are going to be hamsters, so we're going to count the five. So one, two, three, four, five. Two bars. Color it in. And then our final one, which is going to be rabbits. We're only counting to two. So one, two. And right, rabbits. And hamsters. After you have all of your bars colored in and label each and every bar, you're done. Yeah. 
That would be your entire bar graph. Then we're going to move on to our second one. Second bar graph. Which is going to be titled
then we're going to label our y-axis, so we're just going to call it numbers. Numbers. Then we're going to make our scale, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So first one, red writing cut. So red, R, H. We're going to read the end. So all the way across. Making our first bar to two. And color it in. The next one is going to be Cinderella, which has five. Make our two lines again. All the way up. Five. One, two. Color it in. Next is going to be Snow White. Up to nine. Oh, wow, this is a favorite one. Then our two lines. Color it up. Then our last one is going to be Hansel and Gretel, which is going to be H plus G. So we're going to count to four. So one, two, three, four. All the way over. And make our, make our bar. So we have our titles done. All the bars are graphed, and they're to each one that corresponds to the data table. So that's that third and final graph I'm going to show you. Now comes the point where you guys are going to come up. And you're going to help me draw. So, first one we're going to do together is, if I can get everything already. Yes, so if you could, can you go and come up to the board and write a point? Just right up top. We're going to make a graph, so it's going to be very tall. <coughs> and I would like you to stay up here, that way we don't have people going back and forth. So if you can move off to the side a little bit. So what would be our next step, Barbara? Draw your axes. Okay, so what's the name of each one? Which one goes up and down? Y. And which one goes across? X. Good. So it's like an L. Yes, very good. Very good point. So can you go ahead and make our graphs? So first one's going to be our Y axis, which goes up and down. Then X. Good. So you just write Y here. Then X. Okay. We got our axis. What can we call each one according to our data table over here, Michaela. So what can we call the x-axis? Uh, we could name it candy. Yeah, so let's go ahead and write candy right here. And what could we label our y-axis? Uh, numbers. Numbers, sure. Mm -hmm. Numbers. Okay, then we need to make our scale, which is going to be one, two, Three, then we go all the way up till ten. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we make our lines all the way across. We're gonna need about eight. All the way up to eight. So what is the first bar we have to graph? Um Hershey's. Hershey's. So where would we need to draw our bar to? Um at the six. Six. So let's go and do one, two, three, four. Then you can write Hershey's right there. Then what would be our next one? Becky. Twix. Twix. And where would we need to draw to? Eight. Eight. I'll go ahead and do that one. And but you can go ahead and label it. So it'd be Twix. 
then we would have our Kit Kats, which I'll go ahead and label that one. And where would we need to draw to, Barbara? Four. Four. So one, two, three, four, right here. And then our last one, which is going to be to two. And what will we label it as? Michaela. Uh, Butterfingers. Butterfingers. Graph, what can we tell about the types of candy? Which one would be the favorite one? Okay, Twix. Twix! Twix would be our favorite one. Why? Because it has the most numbers. Yes, it's, it's the, the tallest. Mm -hmm. That'd be tallest. So, which one would be. How can we compare that to butter, Butterfingers then? Um, Butterfingers is the least favorite. Why? Because there's only two. It's the smallest number. It's the smallest. So let's go ahead and move on to our next one. I so let's go ahead and have Kristen. You will be up here first. So what could we label this one since we're talking about cereal? Um, types of um, favorite cereals. Favorite cereals. So if you could, could you label our graph mm -hmm. right up here? While I make our dining table, we are going to have five... going to be Cheerios, which is going to be to one. Okay. Then our third one, which is going to be, what's, what can we title our, what's the next one, Becky? Lucky Charms. And where do we need to draw it to? Seven. Seven. So all the seven. Good. You're using the scale. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Sorry. Jumps. And then our last one, which is going to be, let's go and see here. What's the last, what would we title it as? Kristen. Cocoa Puffs. Where would we need to draw it to? Four. Four. And 
our last one, Michaela. Can you be my volunteer, please? I'm gonna sneak past you real quick. I'm so sorry. No. <coughs> so we are gonna be the name. What we're gonna be doing is graphing stuffed animals. So what can we title it as? Uh, stuffed animals. Favorite stuffed animals. Favorite? Okay. <laughs> Favorite stuffed animals. So we're going to have three bears, then eight monkeys, then five bunnies, and six puppies. Okay, so what could be the name of our axis, Michaela? What could we, what's the name of this one? This is the x-axis. X-axis? Mm -hmm. And what could we title it? Uh, stuffed animals. Stuffed animals, yeah. yeah. And then, Becky, what, what is the axis that goes up and down? The y-axis. And what could we label it as? Mm, number. Let's do people. 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 So, and we have our axis, we have our axis as labels. What can we do to make our graphs or our bars a little bit more precise, Kristen? Um, draw all the, what, all them across? Yes. So we're going to make them all parallel to this bottom one, the x-axis. So all the way up, and we can do it up to eight. Scale. Why do you think I chose to make the scale 1 to 10, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 10, instead of having it by twos? Barbara? Because um, you have some odd numbers in there of people, like three bears and five bunnies. Animals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Animals, <laughs> not people. So, um. yeah, so it'd be kind of hard to have, make odd number bars with only an even scale, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, so... Michaela, what is what would we draw our first bar to? Uh, three. Three. And what's what would we title that one? Bears. Oh, bears. Good. And the next one is going to be monkeys. And where would we draw that one to, Michaela? Eight. Eight. in the bar. Then our next one is going to be what, Becky? Uh, bunnies. Bunnies. Same um, where would we draw it to? Five. Five. And what would be our last one to draw, Kristen? Puppies. Puppies. And where would we draw to? <coughs> Six. Six. Are we missing anything? Do we have all our, we have everything labeled? Everything titled? Yes. yes. And do we have each and every one graphed? Yes. yes. All right, thank you, Michaela. Mm -hmm. All right, so now that we have done, we've done our practice, we've done our practice on the board, I'm going to hand out some worksheets and you are going to practice graphing on your